you're out despite having taken your team to the postseason. If you count the NIT, four of the five seasons, lost one year recovering from cancer. Yeah. Why is Steve Lavin now the former head basketball coach at St. John's? Well, I think it was mediocrity for the most part. I mean, the first year he did it with Norm Roberts' players, uh, then again did battle cancer. And uh, Steve, as we know, he's been here, great guy. But I think they saw which direction the program was headed. They were losing so much off this year's team, bringing back maybe Chris Obekwa and, and Rasheed Jordan, but who knows? And there were a lot of second chance kids. There were some suspensions, not a lot of stability within the program. And I think it was one of those where, hey, listen, we know which direction it's going. We're not going to be very good for next year or the next couple of years and just too many issues as well. So if you're going to have that kind of instability, why not also bring in essentially a new head coach to man the ship moving forward? So let's spin that forward in terms of the future of the program. Sure. Who is St. John's looking at? Perhaps who should they be looking at? Well, early names, two early names, former St. John's stars, Chris Mullen, Mark Jackson. I don't know if that's the right way to go. Again, we're seeing a, a rash now of guys come over from the NBA to college, and Fred Hoiberg has made it hip, right? Sure. Hoiberg's done such a great job at Iowa State. Everybody kind of wants to do it. I don't know if either of those guys would be interested, if they'd be able to bring St. John's back to the glory days. It's such a different program and landscape right now that it was uh, back when they had it rolling. Yeah. I think two other names to look at right now are Manhattan, Steve Masiello, who's very strong in New York, has gotten – Manhattan, the NCAA tournament each of the last two years, and Danny Hurley, URI, who's, again, got that Hurley name, sure. very well connected in the Northeast. Yeah. Those are two guys to watch right now, and I think both of them would do a heck of a job there. You need somebody who's going to go in, who's going to fight. Lab, again, a great guy. Did Lab work as hard as some guys probably need to work at St. John's? According to my sources, that's probably not the case.